Welcome to another episode of In the Valley. I'm your host, Peter, here at uh, Sound Studios, and we have Faintless Endless, right? Close. The Faint Endless. The Faintless Endless. The Faint Endless. Wait, the fuck you put in so many love, the love, love, love. I knew someone should have worn this. The Faint Endless. Oh, The Faint Endless. Fuck, man. I'm fired. I am fired. Uh, Anyways. Thank you, Sound Studios, for giving us a big room and everything like that for them to play and uh, this equipment. And there he goes. There he goes. And uh, they're going to take us away with our first song. The Fate. Oh shit. Oh, yeah. 
Give credit where credit's due, Alex. I took them from Kate because my other ones were sweaty. <laughs> and uh, just want to say we're not, just not brought to you by a college student. Sponsor us. Um, so how did you guys uh, come to be? Other than the whole, you know, your parents fell in love or whatever, and then, you know, had, you know, stuff. But how did you guys uh, come well, together as a band? Usually you have to draw, like, a star on the wall. Okay. Light a few candles, say All some right. words, and we'll show up. Incense. Oh. Incense is important. It's pretty sensual and everything. Like, yeah, you know, like yeah. it has to be like done like lovingly. Okay. We don't come for just anyone. Okay. Otherwise, we met picky. all at an art school. <laughs> and uh, from there, started with me and Ven writing songs on the floor of Ven's dorm. We showed them to all of our friends, and they were like, and we were like, cool, <laughs> that's a good sign, right? And then we showed it to Kate, and Kate was like, this is awesome! And now Kate adds the spicy guitar on top, and it all, it all comes together in the perfect, the perfect little rock sandwich. All right. And how about you guys uh, introduce you guys yourselves, too? Yeah. You know who's who? Oh. I'm Fred Adams, and I play rhythm guitar. Woo! I'm Alexander DeVille, and uh, I make noise. Woo! I'm Kate Panic. I play lead guitar. My name's Elliot, but I also go by uh, E-Money, or pretty much anything else. E-Money. <laughs> E-Money. And I'm uh, August, and I'm on the drums. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Put like a little sarcastic clap in the background. Too. <laughs> and uh, so, you know, you talked about how you guys, you know, you were writing a couple of songs with Ben, and then you showed Kate. I swooped in. Oh, you swooped in. Yeah. She swooped in, you know. Play some sick shit, we and then uh, from there, up. how about everyone else? Like they're honey. guns for hire, essentially. Okay. We uh we actually uh, found August in a pretty fun way, so we put out flyers for like a drummer needed, and like we got like this person hit us back up after like three months and was like, "Yeah, I want to meet you guys." So we were like, "Okay." <laughs> then didn't ask their age, like what they were like at you all. Could have been a really <laughs> old dude. So we were just going to like meet this person. We had no fucking clue who they were gonna be. We go in to like the coffee place. We're meeting him, and uh, we're like sitting there. And then all of a sudden, this like fucking kid with a sweater comes in, sucking on a goddamn Jet peppermint roulette. stick. A Christmas. <laughs> and, <laughs> and we all look at each other, and we're like. Hey guys. It was the guy. <laughs> That's a story. Oh man. And uh, how do you feel about that, August? Like, just coming into the band like that as a young kid and now. A young, a young buck. Yeah. And now he's you're older. He's than actually than only 14 years old. Yeah, August is only he's 14. He's a prodigy. Yeah, like, I, I went through puberty way <laughs> too, too fast. Yeah. Like, fifth grade. <laughs> and then, uh, e money, what's your story? <laughs> Hey, you guys say it. Uh, well, I was working at a gluten-free cupcake restaurant, Woo! and my co-worker... Links below, links below. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sinners and Saints, it's really good. You should go. <laughs> but my co-worker was like, hey, I have a bassist who needs a band, and you're in a band who needs a bassist. And I was like, that's true. So I took a picture of his contact information and texted him, and sure enough, he showed up. Surfer boy extraordinaire. What's up? Good morning. E money. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and uh, what's your guys' influences in uh, the band or individually? Every person in the band has a different influence, mm -hmm. so that's what makes our really unique sound. For me, it's the Misfits, the Smashing Pumpkins, and My Chemical Romance. All right. Uh, two words for you: Abba Gold. It was such fire and confidence. I started as like a uh, theater drama kid, so okay. all of my nerd. Uh, leave me alone. <laughs> okay. Kate, this shit. Anyway, my influences are uh, like Escape the Fate, Scary Kids, Scaring Kids, uh, like Chiodos. Okay. I gotta say, I love Frank Zappa, <laughs> but Frank I've been Zappa. listening to a lot of Sublime of late. I listen to a lot of stuff, Gorillas. A okay. little bit of everything. Well, I wasn't going to say it, but just because you said not to, <laughs> the best drummer in the w world is Ringo Starr of the, Be the Beatles. 
But uh, lately, I've been listen, listen, listening to like Dave Grohl, the the, 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 the Pixies, and like okay. more pussy, harder drums. <laughs> <laughs> At least I've got one. <laughs> and then uh, together, like, what song? Like some artists that you guys come together on um, to form you guys' music. Well, I can agree with Ben on My Chemical Romance any day. We all really yeah, like placebo. Bowie. We placebo. Like all of us. Placebo. Who the fuck doesn't like placebo, though? Right? Smashing Pumpkins. I feel like we listen to the Smiths a lot. David Bowie. I hate the Smiths. <laughs> Kate, Kate hates the Smiths. Uh, you're on your own, you buddy. She hates everything, <laughs> so. All right, well, uh, let's get into the next song then. Show me more of those influences. A little... Pot. We'll show you more than that. Oh. This next song is go. called Invincible. I'm gonna fit into that prom dress even if it fucking kills me. song about a breakup that's really sad, but it's trapped in a pop song. Mm. <laughs> okay. What's a lyric that describes the, the whole entire song? Never dodged your bullets, just denied they hit. And did you, oh, did you write that, or? Okay, she wrote it. Yeah. That one was the? So what was the like, thought process behind that, other than like a, like a breakup you might have went to, or is it just something you just felt like writing in the moment? Um, it's kind of just like always like writing in the moment and then emotionally and mentally like purging something mm -hmm. so it's tangible. It like the song doesn't like create like it creates itself like I don't mm -hmm. choose what it becomes. Okay, so the rhyme process within the band, what's that like? You know, creating the music and 
usually one of us will like write quite a bit of words, then come present it to the group, and everyone else will be like, I like the intro. We can put that with this other thing, and that might sound cool. <laughs> it goes kind of like that. So you guys kind of chop it up and then re chop it up and yeah, work yeah. together. Okay. It's a lovely process. <laughs> Very sexual. And then uh, the music portion, you know, how, how, do you, how does that work? Well, you get an instrument and you learn how to play it. <laughs> <laughs> Noted. Noted. <laughs> so, uh, like, but does uh, the music come first or is it the lyrics? It depends, depends on the song, yeah. And we all pretty much write our own parts musically. So we, even if, like, there's, like, a bass idea for a song, like, mm -hmm. Elliot's gonna write the bass part for him, and like I'll write my part. Okay. So and do you guys have all the input on the lyrics, or is it just mainly you two that write, right? Uh, well. Lyrics kind of go and come from everyone. Like okay. a lot of the songs are Ben, like the four ones that are up on our SoundCloud are mo mostly Ben. But like we help and like put in like your forces and yeah. parts and. It's, as I said, it's all stitched together. Okay. Once we bring the song to the practice, it kind of snowballs from there. Everyone, like, adds their own ideas, and then it just creates itself. That's okay. always my favorite part. Well, what's the standard you guys hold your music to when it comes down to releasing or even uh, just putting it as Nothing an Nothing short of perfection. Um, <laughs> right now, we're actually focusing on putting out a lot of material. We're very new, like, okay. relatively new. We're only about a year old. So at this juncture, it's wise for us to be putting out a lot of content yeah. and worry about uh, polishing it later. Because I mean, they're just demos. We need to be yeah. seen. So, so, yeah. That makes a lot of sense. You can develop as songwriters through doing that too, which is something that uh, is important to us right now. And uh, you guys, you just said that you guys are working on an album right now. So uh, are you guys like already recording, or are you guys just working on the music first? So we're actually going to the recording studio next week. We've already recorded four demo songs, and we're going to do four more demo songs. But uh, like I said, we're just trying to do a lot of content. Yeah. All right. Right now, we're just making a lot of noise and smoke until someone notices us, and they're like, ah. Like the fire. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so show me the next song, then. Next song. This song is called Requiem.
Requiem. Okay. Jinx, you owe me a soda. <laughs> and what's that song about? Uh, that chlamydia. Song. <laughs> chlamydia and what? It'll never leave. Did you hear the last one? Oh, yeah. yeah. About STDs. <laughs> <laughs> the Gano Kaka Kakas. So, um, you know, it doesn't sound like you guys, like, you guys have been out for a year. It doesn't sound like you guys have been having trouble getting shows, right? Like, no, we have too many shows, if anything. Oh, shit. We're getting really worn we down. We try and accept every single show that comes our way. Yeah. So we've played to a lot of uh, rooms with one person in it. It's very <laughs> fun because we give that person one hell of a night. <laughs> yeah, right? I could, I could tell. <laughs> there was one show with one person in it, and Kate was profusely bleeding from her mouth. Everyone was going hard. It was great. 500% for one guy. We Wait. deserved it. <laughs> There's a lot of blood involved, typically. <laughs> we decided to keep it a little bit less um, like that for you. Um, we don't want to stain your yeah, carpet. where's the blood? Her guitar was white before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, what is it? Getting out there and getting shows is not hard. Like, do you have, like, any help? Maybe not when you look oh, like this. Damn. We, we do have help. Pan that way to that nice gentleman sitting on the camera. Oh, this is our is. manager, Ray, and he helps manager us get Ray. so many shows Thank and you, sell t-shirts. Sarcastic clap in the background. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, like, what's, uh, what's it like then doing the whole, like, well, he just has the whole business side of it, right? Or is it... None of us have a mind for business. Okay. Uh, okay. Kate begs to differ. <laughs> No, Ray helps us out, like, by getting us shows, and, like, he, he set this up for us, which is really cool. Okay. Yeah. And then, uh, what was it? Like, so I was going to ask, like, what's the marketing like then? You know, because it, it kind of gets into that where it's, like, uh, the business and art side of this, right? Um, like, do you guys market you guys yourselves through social media, or does uh, Ray do it for you? We are very prevalent on Instagram. Okay. I feel like Instagram is our best social media That's platform best, yeah. to reach us on. You're like one, it's like one huge flyer kind of thing? Well, actually, Ven is just a social media demon <laughs> and uh, <laughs> handles all that very, very well. I know the latest tweets and emojis. <laughs> I know all the latest memes. <laughs> Only 13 hashtags, anything more spam. <laughs> um, yeah, right. So then, you know... What's it like then, just going into the art of this then? Because if he if he handles the the business side, what is it with the art? Is it this difficult putting it out there, or making it, and then trying to give it to him to just put it out for you guys? Well, it's not that <laughs> difficult because the, that's such a confusing question. Okay, so we like basically self manage the band. So yeah. like Ray books us shows and stuff, oh, okay, but okay, we okay. take care of like making show flyers. Like we'll make show flyers and we'll post them on our Facebook. We'll post them on our social media. We'll keep it updated that way. We'll post it on videos. Like, Ray sometimes takes videos for us, but we're, like, doing the majority of the posting okay, for so the that's, band. Okay, so that's basically... It's, yeah, he yeah. does, like, booking. Okay. He's our booker. So then what's that, like, the whole marketing process for you guys? Because um, you guys are self-managing that part. What's it like? Basically, we just split it up into, like, different people have different jobs. Like, we play to strengths. Ben's really, really good at Instagram. Okay. Ben has, like, a crazy good Tumblr. So uh, Ben does a lot of the Instagram stuff. Alex handles Facebook stuff. Yeah, but we're all artists, too, so, like, having, like, a design background really helps with stuff like that. Oh, who, you guys? We all met at art school, the oh, three sure. of us. So that's been really helpful with that because we can make, like, banging ass flyers, like, really easily. Which is cool. So you guys are basically your own graphic designer. Yeah, definitely. We're very much like I don't mean to like toot our own horn, but merch? we're amazing. Do you guys have like any merch or anything? We like do actually. We have shirts. Uh, we have buttons. We have demos. That's what okay. we have right now. I was supposed to wear a shirt today, but I couldn't. Yeah, find I was gonna it. say like, wh where is it? I could have been like, hey, look. <laughs> it's somewhere in my laundry hamper, being very stinky. <laughs> <laughs> Covered in stains. Um. Oh, that was awkward. <laughs> it was just quiet after that. Because uh, it's true. Oh, all right. And then uh, is it, so social media has made it easier for you guys to get out there, you know, since you guys are using it to your advantage. And it, it's a plus if you, you know, because you guys are art majors, you know, and design and everything. So it really helps out, you know, your marketing. 
Um, what about your scene? Is it like a doggy dog where you guys help each other out? You know, what's it like? It's kind of like a relationship between five people. It's hard to manage, but we all love each other and we're still here. The scene. Oh, the scene. Yeah. I thought we were talking about the band. <laughs> I feel like uh, even though we have a lot of influences from punk and metal, yeah. like each scene, we could like play a show with them, but we don't actually fit in. We are always very different. Yeah. And like everyone notices that. So. It's like you guys can't play at an indie show because it just sounds. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that actually happened once, well. too. <laughs> well. yeah. I mean, we'll show up and we'll play anywhere. Like, oh, yeah. we'll play anywhere. It doesn't mean, we don't always fit in, but it, we're, people like us. It's but like that's the good part. Like, yeah. we're really unique and memorable. It's like what Kate said, you guys are just putting content out there and exposure, right, for you guys. Because yeah, you guys are a new band. Yeah. We play with the goth bands, we play with the punk bands, and we play with the indie bands. Okay. <laughs> Does it, do you guys find it difficult getting together and practicing? Like, is it hard for you guys to... You know, your reality, your guys' lives versus your music uh, uh, career choice? I'm failing we school. We stay on a strict and rigorous schedule. We practice every Friday morning. Every, every Friday. Oh, at least. Sometimes more. <laughs> Usually more. So is it difficult then? Like, it's not, well, it's not difficult then. Because you guys just say of course it's difficult. difficult. We, we all have day. lives, but this is important to us. Okay, so it's like more of a passion than a work or a hobby kind of thing, right? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> if I can make this band big before senior year, I'm not going to have to do any final projects or papers. Okay, that's the goal. <laughs> and then uh, the last question would be, you know, for any artists out there that are, like, upcoming and trying to find, you know, some kind of, like, way to create music but doesn't really know how or doesn't know where to start, what words of advice can you give them? Collab. Go find people. It took me so long. This is my first band ever and I'd always just play music by myself in my room and be like, I don't want to talk to anybody. I don't want to see anyone. I don't want anyone to hear me. It's fine. And then finally I went out and started making music with Ben and then added on all these people. And it's so much fun. It's so <laughs> great. And like having a music family makes it much easier to create. Don't be full of shit. Everyone will know you're full of shit. <laughs> like, we do this because we have to. There's no other way. So just make sure it's for the right thing. All right. Practice. Actually practice. Yeah. And do not turn the light out when somebody's in the bathroom. <laughs> Pisses them off. Is that, like, is that the key? The key thing, like you guys come together and practice, and someone did that, or what? Well, so, I, we someone don't did know that to me. Yeah, no, it was that another, that. Hey, oh, another okay. band did oh, that to yeah. me. <laughs> That's happened to me, yeah. And now we're not friends with that band anymore. So. <laughs> oh, okay, e money. Well, I, I guess that's just basically it. Unless you guys have anything else to talk about, or like plugins or shout outs. Hi, mom. <laughs> Thanks, mom. Love you. She loves you. All right, thank you, Sound Studios, for this lovely room and everything that you. have Giving us the equipment and uh, you know shit, and uh, thank you, Carlos Jr. for that burger. Even though I, he didn't really give it to me. Uh, check out our in, uh, in the Valley uh, Patreon website, inthevalley.tv. Check out this band, The Faint Endless, and uh, there you go. Links below. Oh, this episode is brought to you by viewers like you. Thank you. Bye, bye. Did I get that right, Eric? Chris? No. <laughs> All right, without any further ado, this next song is called Disappear.
about it.